Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In the last video, we have successfully implemented the edit block functionality. But uh, as we noticed in the back end, we have a status column which is going to be 1 or 0. So either we can publish a block or either we can unpublish a block. And accordingly, uh, the block will be visible in the front end. So in this form we are going to implement that functionality also so for that uh, let's add a simple select box okay and here basically we will just write select select option okay and there is going to be two options with us one is going to be called as publish publish and second option is going to be you guessed is correct so it is going to be unpublished the value for publish is going to be 1 and unpublished is going to be 0 and here I am going to name the select with publish underscore unpublish okay so let's try to reload the page and here if you can notice we have let's give some margin top property to this So here basically we have an option called publish and unpublish. So if I try to publish or unpublish, let's die the post again and let's check if I'm getting the option or not. So here if I select, so here I'm getting that publish and publish is one. So we need to update the status column as one. If I give it as unpublish, so it should be zero. Yes, accordingly we need to update the data so as this is the edit section the page is getting loaded so by default one option should get selected here and also uh, we don't uh, require the selected option here as this there is going to be only two options and anyone would be selected so here uh, we can check for a statement in a ternary way right. so here if the result now in the select statement have we selected the status let's first check that no we have not selected the status so we will add the status column here also so we will get the status here if the status equals to so if there is status equals to 1 then we will just echo selected otherwise we will echo blank similar thing I'm going to copy it on the bottom side also but here the status is not going to be 1 it is going to be 0 now let's try to reload the page it is giving us published now when I click on unpublish and edit the page it is going to this page let's add this in this post file as well so where we have this data we will add another variable called publish and publish which is in the post so here we will have a comma status equals to 
dollar publish and publish similarly we are going to have the data here also so here we will have status equals to dollar publish and publish we will remove the die now from this line now when I reload the page it is showing that the data has been updated successfully when I go to edit so unpublish was selected so that means this uh, select box is working fine and we have successfully implemented the publish and unpublish functionality if I check again with the edit so the publish button is enabled so this is showing us that this blog is published if I want to unpublish it I will just select unpublish and that's it the data has been updated now if I check on the dashboard there are lots of things which we don't require anymore so we will remove and make an empty dashboard so let's go in the dashboard section and inside that dashboard we have the canvas which is not needed and the table is also not needed so from the table attribute we are going to remove everything okay so this is also a way to, to remove the data Now if you notice everything is removed we don't require this toolbar also that's it now here what we can show actually is um, either we can show some alert in bootstrap or let's open this and check for alerts yeah that's looking good for now and here basically we are going to show view blog directly we can have a link for now I know this is not the beautiful dashboard but still it is for the learning purpose so I think so this is going to be helpful for you guys and I am damn sure that you guys are going to make much better than this let's go on the dashboard so it is coming there okay let's take it down here let's add a div and a class inside that let's add this so here we have a view blog button similarly if I want I can have some another button as well which is going to be for adding a blog maybe the shortcuts for adding a block and this is going to complete our dashboard part hmm. that is better and here instead of this info I'm going to do warning so this is going to change the color so here is a view blog button here is the add blog button if I want to view it I'll just go there I'll edit and delete I can go on the dashboard again and I can click on the add blog and that's it 
so i hope this video was helpful and this completed our back end part in this mini project in the next video we'll be working on the front end part and we will develop the front end first and then we will directly integrate this back end data with the front end view thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any sort of doubts thank you